Hey there educators, how's it going? Will here and today I'm going to be showing you how to schedule a meeting in Zoom. Now scheduling a meeting can be very beneficial for you as you can use the exact same meeting link over and over and over again for your class making it a little easier for the kids and yourself as you don't have to constantly repost that. Now in this video I will not only be showing you how to schedule a meeting but fine-tuning those set, uh, settings and scheduling a meeting as well as how you can post that into Google Classroom so your students can easily find it. So make sure you are uh, in your Zoom account and when you're there go ahead and click on the meetings just so we're all on the same page and then we can click the schedule a new meeting tab here. Now here you're going to see a whole host of options. In this case, I'm just going to label this one as example. We'll do example class. And then I can go ahead and set my start date. So I can click on the calendar here. And then from here, let's say my first day is going to be Monday at, we'll go 8.30. And we'll have that 8.30 a.m. Now I can have the duration set to an hour, and this is just to allow your students to understand uh, how long they should expect to be in the class. You are free to end your class early as well if you've covered everything. And in fact, I encourage you if you're having to follow a strict schedule where like you have math class at 8, and then there's science class at 9, and then English at 10, that may be ending anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes before the scheduled end time would be beneficial. That way students have a chance to take a break. They can get up, stretch, use the bathroom, grab a snack, whatever. And that also allows you as a teacher, if you have a class uh, that is back to back, that you can have a little time to set up everything, make sure everything's good to go, and you're ready for your class. So I have my duration here. I have my time zone set to central time. You might need to reset your time zone. And finally, reoccurring meeting. I'm going to check this one to make it easier for myself. So in reoccurring meeting, all I'm saying is every time on the period I select, this uh, meeting room is going to be open. So in this case, I'm going to do weekly, and I'm going to set it to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then I can have an end date. So I'm going to say I'm projecting we'll be happy here. We're going to say that my end date is not in June. But let's make my end date April 3rd. That's how long I'm going to go with this. Now you, of course, can uh, then reschedule new meetings past that if, of course, we have to be doing the e-learning past that. Here I want to make sure my video is set to host is on, participant is off. Okay, we don't want our kids joining with their videos right away. They can turn on their video later on by selecting that video icon in the bottom left of their screen. Next. I want to mute participants upon entry, and I can record the meeting automatically. When I have those settings done, I can click Save, and then I'm good to go. Now the next step is going to be copying the invitation and sending it to your Google Classroom. So once the class is created, you're going to see down here it's going to say Join URL, and then you have this long URL. Just go ahead and click that Copy Invitation. And really, let's just grab these two items here, the join Zoom meeting, the meeting ID, and password. These are the things that are going to be most beneficial for your students in case they get disconnected. Okay. And then let's open up our Google Classroom. And then in this case, let's use my engineering class as the example because I'm constantly using this class. So when I'm ready to post this invitation, I can right click here and paste this in. Now the other thing to help your students, this will be a highlighted link so they can actually, uh, or I should say a hyperlink, um, and they will be able to access that Zoom room right away. But if we want to just add an extra layer to help our students out, we can copy that URL there, click the add button, click link, and then we can post that link so so now that it's ready to go I can click post now all of my students have access to this link now say you're posting in Google Classroom but you want to constantly use that same link because you can so I'm going to just put a few posts on here to give you an example of what it looks like 
right? So you've done your post one, now you have another post on here, and it's coming to the second portion of uh, your class, right? Your meeting time. And you want to make sure your students have the ability to see this link constantly. It's going to be the first thing that pops up on their feed. All you have to do is click the three dots on the post and then select that move to top. Once you have it set to move to top, it's going to be the first post that your students see when they jump onto your classroom page, and it makes it easier for them. Now, if you have any questions and you're watching this as part of CCLS, please feel free to email me. If you're watching this on YouTube, please uh, leave a comment below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. It's a chaotic time right now, so I'm trying to uh, prioritize things. But yeah, if you found this helpful, also please make sure you hit that like on YouTube because it helps with analytics and gets this video recommended more. Thanks for watching.